Uh, no, nah, I'm, I'm just excited, honestly, just to get the season started off the right way. And uh, going down there to Miami is going to be hot. So just really got to hydrate. And I feel like uh, week one, I feel like everyone's excited. Everyone's, especially how we ended last season, just to get that bad taste out of our mouth. What happened? <laughs> get that bad taste out of our mouth. So we ready. We excited. How important is it to start the year off on the right foot? Uh, no, that's very important. I mean, I feel like that's just going to just steamroll our whole season, the way we start and the uh, way we show who we are and what we put on film. But you've talked about some, and Trevor's talked about it some. Doing more in the passing game this year, how much would you, I guess, be enthusiastic or excited to have a bigger load that way? I mean, I'm very excited. Anytime there's a chance to get the ball in my hands, I'm very excited, man. I'm a playmaker. Uh, I love I love playing football. I love the ball in my hands. So anytime I can get a chance to get the ball, no matter how it is, I'm very excited. Who's your favorite rookie? My favorite rookie? Man, I don't like none of that. I, <laughs> I lie, I lie. Shout out to Jerry and Jones, man, you know. Florida State looking. What's the thing about Clemson? Huh? What's the thing about Clemson? Uh, I think we're going to beat Florida State. <laughs> we ain't looking too hot either, but you know, it's week one. We played the number one team, so you know, it's the only way it's up from here. It's a good team, wasn't it? It was a great team. And then, uh, it's time to watch my brother play Saturday, so, yeah. Hey, Trev, you're talking about you know, the fast start, not just from a team perspective, but you, the running backs. Obviously, you guys are you know, getting, getting those touches early. How, how important is it for you to kind of get your ball rolling a little bit, too, to kind of roll through the season? Uh, really, for me, I just got to be just, just, just obsessed with the opportunities that I get throughout the season, uh, whether it's 6, whether it's 12, just do the most with what I got. And I feel like that's just going to trickle down throughout the room. And uh, if I set that tone for the guys, uh, we're going to have a great season. Level on the offensive line. It's a veteran group up front. They added Mitch Morse up there as, as well. It's another 10 year guy. But this group ought to be able to get it done. Uh, most definitely. I'm, I'm just so excited to go out there and, and just see Mitch play. I feel like Mitch is going to bring a great intensity to the offensive line. And uh, just the way that he, 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 like, just on our grenade, just the way that he kind of just get out in open field. I feel like he's, he's very fast, he's very quick. And I feel like I love that. Like having a refrigerator running in front of me. Like, <laughs> it, don't, it, it don't get no better than that. Feeling going into this week? Excited, just to, uh, you know, play against another opponent. You know, we always had preseason and stuff, but just uh, where all the everything matters. Um, kind of taking that into practice. Every rep matters, but just go out there, be able to start our record off the right way. That's what we're looking forward to. What stands out to you about the Dolphins offense? Um, they got a lot of speed, obviously. They know that. Uh, this is the way they utilize guys, probably try to find matchups, get the guys the ball in space, uh, get the guys the ball in space. Um, so it's all about how we're communicating and adjusting to, to what they do. Can that speed cause problems for a defense? Yeah, we just got to own what we do, I think. It's week one, so a lot of things might not have been seen before. Um, obviously, they think they have ways to find ways to get their guys the ball, but if we own what we're doing on defense and just be confident in bumps and communications or matches and communications, get guys on guys, you uh, eliminate a lot of their catch and run stuff. So that's our goal, I think. Um, uh, just be, be in tune to, to our game plan. I think that's the key to week ones in the whole NFL. What's your confidence level? Obviously, with the new defensive scheme, it seems like they're going to be kind of switching everybody out a lot. You feel like you guys will figure some stuff out on the fly once you get out there? What's the confidence in our scheme? Uh, uh, the utmost confidence. Uh, we've been practicing it for a long time. I think we've been sprinkling in a lot of Miami stuff throughout preseason, the coaches have said. So um, all we've known is what we're going through week one. Uh, so as long as we master what we've been doing on the field, we talk about master technique and chip. Yeah, champion the scheme, master technique. Uh, take that into week one, fly around, have fun, play football. It's a long season, but how important is it to start the season on, on a good note? Important, always, just because that's what we've been doing all preseason. And then, obviously, you think you have a recipe. You don't want to see your uh, recipe have to change and stuff just because you didn't get the goal that you – you know, it didn't look how you wanted it to look coming out for week one. Then, you know, some of the guys might panic and stuff just because we put so much effort and everything into it. Uh, you obviously want your stuff to look how it's supposed to look. Is there a theme or a motto for this season? I know last year, think takeaways was the saying uh, a lot of guy, for a lot of guys. Is, is there anything that you guys have discussed as a defense going into this year? Oh, we talk about attack. We got attack hats. We got attack hats. Uh, that's all it is. Every day, attack. Try to get better. Grow every day. Um, attack whatever they put on the field. Got to be the aggressors out there every time we step out. Is it fun to play in a defense like that, where it's, it's that kind of that attack mindset? I love it. I love it. I think uh, the personality kind of 
adapt to the personality of the coach. Uh, credit to Coach Nielsen, you know, bringing that in. His energy never changes day in, day out. Uh, credit to him, like, first you're looking at him, but that's really him. He loves it. He loves coming in early, uh, bringing that energy and bringing people along with him. So that's kind of what we're adopting as a defense. You see us kind of grow with it every day. Mike McDaniel slowly proving himself as one of the premier play callers in the league, right? To face an offense that will give you so many different looks to start the season. How nice is that for you guys early on in the year? Yeah, it's just kind of what I was talking about earlier. I think week one's all about what you do out on the field. Like as a defense, owning your calls, owning what your responsibilities, um, and playing within yourself. If you try to worry about anything that they can pitch at you, I mean, it's the first game. Uh, they can come out with a whole new, different offense than you're expecting. It's about owning your calls and owning your plays, being able to communicate through them, match on match, uh, however we're supposed to do it, and then uh, play through that, play football. Is there a level of that that y'all can take to the field too since it's going to be the first game with Nielsen here in Jacksonville, so they don't know what? Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to reveal any uh, schemes and stuff, but it's all about attack mindset. Wherever we put on the field, um, however they line up, we're, we're supposed to be the aggressors out there. That's what we're aiming to do. Why Jackson? <laughs> Oh, it's great to be here. Um, I think this probably gives me the um, like the best opportunity to to really learn and continue to learn, uh, continue to improve. And um, you know, we're an exciting team, and um, yeah, we've got good ambition. So I think this was probably the perfect team for me to, to come to. Running back in Kansas City, receiver here. Yeah. How does that transition going for you? I think I'm much better off playing receiver um, with my size and strength. I think. That's probably a position that suits me a lot more. Uh, I think it was a good experiment to, to try running back out at, at the Chiefs, but I think uh, we all we all realised that I'd probably probably be a receiver eventually, um, and and here we are today. And uh, you know I'm I'm loving I'm loving training at receiver. I'm I'm loving learning learning the role, and um, you know going to continue to improve. Was it a surprise when the Chiefs let you go, or, or were you expecting to kind of maybe get back to the practice squad there? Did you have an option to sign? Uh, I mean. It was what it was. <laughs> like I tried as hard as I can to to improve every day, and I think it was more down to, to me playing running back and the strength of running back they had at that team. Um, you know, was I expecting it? I don't know, but you got to deal with these things, and setbacks are going to come in in everyone's careers. It's just how you bounce back, and um, you know I'm here loving it, loving my new teammates and, and coaches, and ready to to rip in. And Jackson's been on you for a while, right? Dating back to what the spring is that true? Right, correct. Uh, I mean, I, I talked I talked to a few teams um, back in when was it end of March. So um, you know we've had a good connection and uh, and here we are today. So I'm happy. When you signed, did you know this team played two games in London? Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean the Jags are. <laughs> They're notorious for going to London, and um, you know, obviously, I'm, I'm from, I'm from the UK, and you know, it's going to be great to go back home and, um, you know, be able to catch up with friends, but also be able to learn on the field and and, and play play in London, and um, you know, all the boys are so excited. So yeah, we're looking forward Can to. Can you it. envision what that will be like for you? I mean, as far as your stardom goes over there. Ah, I mean, I, I'm going as a Jags player, so I'm, I'm going to go over there, um, do what, do what I need to do, and. Um, you know, we're all looking forward to playing those two games in Wembley and, and Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. So, um, you know, we got a few games before that, and then, and then we're off. How hard is it to do what you're trying to do? Uh, I'd say it's pretty challenging. <laughs> um, you know, the first game of American football I ever played was was a month ago. So, um, it's very challenging, and uh, yeah, I can feel that. But at the same time, this is my dream. So, I'm very determined to to make this dream a reality and, and try and break into this team. And, and I mean, that's everyone's goal is to get into the 53. And, um, you know, I'm going to continue to learn the playbook. I think that's probably the most important thing right now. You know, since changing teams and changing complete playbook, playbooks, then um, I need to try and learn as quick as possible to have a chance. Does it as much translate as you thought might or, or, or less? Uh, it's a tough question. <laughs> like, there's just some, some transfers, but I think a lot of the um, the concepts, and I'm playing a new position, so I've got to learn complete different stuff to what I was learning at the Chiefs. So, um, but yeah, it's good. It's good to, to learn to learn this new playbook, and um, you know, I'm, I'm trying my hardest every day to, <laughs> to try and take in as much as I can, and, and trying to use my, my coaches and teammates to, to help me in the, along the way. You get a lot of questions about rugby. You teaching these guys a thing or two? Yeah, I'm trying to teach them a, a thing or two, but um, yeah, we're fully focused. I mean, it's game week. We're fully focused on football. Um, maybe in the bye week, I'll show them a few things. What's how many times have you played in Wembley? How many times have you played in Wembley? Yeah. I've never played in either stadium. Um, I've watched many games. I think my first game of American football I watched in Wembley was uh, it was the Washington Redskins 
obviously the commanders now, but against the Bengals in 2016, maybe. It was quite a long, a long time ago for me, but um, <clears throat> I've never actually played in either stadium. I've obviously gone to watch teams play um, many a times, but we'll Was see. that what sparked the love? Started your dream to want to play American football? Yeah, I mean, it was probably younger than that, but that was the first opportunity I could go to a game. Um, you know, my dad took me and my brother to, to go watch, and um, I was I was quite young then, so <laughs> I think I was like 14 or 13. So um, yeah, I've I've loved it ever since watching my first game on TV. Never mind in, in real life. What's what was it about football that it's that caught your eye like that? Uh, I mean, my dad brought me up to watch watch as many games as I could. I mean, that was his that was his first love for sport was American football and. Um, and he brought me up the same way. It was his team. Uh, his, his team was the Redskins. Okay. Um, so that's why we went to our first game in Wembley to watch them. Um, but yeah, I've I've loved it ever since then, and, and now I'm I'm being able to, to train it and, and play it. What's it like on those phone calls from home? Just say you were with Mahomes and Reed and the Super Bowl champs, and now obviously around some some big name players in here. Yeah, I mean, not many people like realize what I'm actually doing uh, back home, like friends and stuff. You know they, they're they're on with their jobs and, and I'm on with mine, so it's it's interesting. I think my family are probably the most proud of me. Uh, they've come out to they came out to Kansas City and now they they're coming out to Jacksonville to live. So that just goes to show how how tight my family is and um, yeah, I'm trying to make them proud as much as I can. Is this heat different than anything else you've experienced? Uh, I mean, I used to come to Florida every year for, for an annual holiday uh, to Orlando, just around the corner. Um, I mean, I've trained in Turkey, which is very hot. We did our World Cup training camp there. So I don't, the heat isn't, I quite like the heat. So <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm loving training. All right, thanks guys.